So I made a video about Among Us secrets and you guys weren't toxic at all telling me that I missed a few. So that was a lie. Okay, don't worry, I'm not mad because I spent a lot of time finding 25 more things you probably didn't know about Among Us. Let's start off with number 25. If you're a fan of the iconic Among Us astronaut design, you probably asked yourself what exactly they are. I mean, sure, they're humans, but they have no arms and they look like the bottom half of a Teletubby. But believe it or not, the Among Us spacemen were actually partly inspired by the designs of the Moralians from a game called Space Channel 5. I mean, compare them. The similarities are both creepy and undeniable, but not exactly as undeniable as our number 24 spot, which is getting 15 player lobbies. By now, I'm pretty sure we all know that Among Us 2 was in the works and got canceled. If you didn't, now you know. But what many people don't know is it had a ton of features already in the works that are now coming to the original game. Yep, you guessed it, 15 player lobbies. I mean, who knows? Might make turning on that third imposter option a little bit easier. But speaking of the devs, let's move on to number 23, the secret color. So there is a secret color in the game files that could only be accessed by the developers and some hackers. It's called Fort Green and almost no one knows about it. Here's the comparison between Fort Green and Dark Green. You see it? It's not the only secret in the Among Us files as we jump to number 22. If you've ever heard of the real life game Mafia or played a video game version of it, you probably have realized that Among Us is pretty similar to it. And that's because it was actually inspired by Mafia and even launched on iOS and Android with the name Space Mafia. Fun fact, you can still view that name if you look at the game files to this day, but Space Mafia isn't the only confusing name. You have to see number 21. So the developers of Among Us, Inner Sloth, are only a team of four to five people, so it makes sense if their name meant something special. But what exactly does Inner Sloth mean? Hmm. I mean, maybe it's an inside joke? Not exactly. It turns out they actually used a random name generator. Shocking, right? And if we're on the topic of shocks, you'll probably be surprised to hear about number 20, the Among Us Esports. So yeah, Among Us actually has an esports scene. I'm not joking. There are actual tournaments out there that people have hosted and won tens of thousands of dollars. The highest earning player out there right now is Trainwrecks, who has made $21,000 from the tournaments. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I hope we see like an official esports hosted once this new map comes out. Imagine like a $100,000 tournament. It'd be fun to watch. But that's not the only thing that's gonna make the future look even brighter as we introduce you to number 19, the Hide and Seek Beta. So Inner Sloth is indeed working on an official hide and seek mode for Among Us, and they have been doing so for some time now. Not only was this mode included in the things coming to Among Us 2, but it was also leaked on Inner Sloth's own Discord server. So if they're testing it, we could see it get announced in the next month or so, maybe even at the Game Awards where the devs are announcing something there. Hmm, wonder what it could be. It could be hide and seek, or it could be number 18, the new map. So we finally have our first look at the brand new map coming to Among Us that Inner Sloth has been teasing for a couple months now. Here is the first ever picture of what the map will look like. It's from the Topic Clan ship from infiltrating the airship. And there's even a new cyborg skin teased who is also from the Henry Stickman games. And while this new map will be an awesome free DLC update, it's also cool to learn about number 17, old DLC. So in the earlier days of Among Us, before the game was even close to the popularity it has now, Mirror HQ and Polis were actually paid DLC maps. Can you believe they weren't free like they are now? Crazy, right? I mean, I'm not surprised that you had to pay for the maps before the game got popular though, because at number 16, we talk about how Among Us only made $35 when it started. Yeah, in the first two months of the game being out, not only was there just one map, but Intersloth only made a total of 35 bucks. No joke, that's an official number from the devs themselves. Can you imagine? But now it's time to move to number 15. Sure, Andersloth was a randomly generated name, but a lot of people, places, and names in Among Us are actually hidden references that a lot of people don't know. For example, in Henry Stickman, which was another game developed by Intersloth, there was a dude who won a contest to name a planet after himself. That person was named, you guessed it, Polis Petrovich. I probably messed up that last name, but he's the reason the planet is named Polis. The more you know, it's all connected. And it gets even more interesting with number 14. So it turns out the original version of Among Us, of course, was very different to the one we play today. But probably the weirdest thing that was in there was the sound. Yeah, the game actually had zero sound and nobody knows why. I mean, luckily we now have some actual sounds in the game, but them making $35 in that first couple months, it, it makes a little sense now. 
It's creepy they had no audio, but what's even creepier is number 13, the crewmate anatomy. This one is weird, guys. Listen to this. So over on the Among Us website, Intersloth confirms that the imposters are actually parasitic shapeshifters, which I guess kind of explains that whole long spiked tongue and all those teeth. I mean, sheesh. But the crewmates are also a little weird looking. I mean, their actual anatomy is a single bone, a rubber suit, and an oxygen tank. I've got some questions, Intersloth. All right, but let's get that horrifying fact out of our minds and talk about number 12. So each holiday has changed the game in Among Us, from Halloween decorations to the upcoming Christmas hats, but there's one holiday that really spices up the Skeld. We talked about this in one of our videos, but if you set your computer or phone date to April 1st and go onto the Skeld, your map will actually become flipped. It's confusing, but I love it. You could also do the same thing with number 11, free cosmetics. So I mentioned the upcoming Christmas hats and you'll actually be able to get them and more completely free. So just like the April Fool's trick, if you change your date to December 25th or October 31st, you get free hats and cosmetics from these holidays. And then you get to keep them for free even if you change your date back. But now we move on to our final 10 facts. So Among Us is such a monster of a game that in the last 90 days alone, over 330 million hours of the game have been watched on Twitch. Putting that into perspective, that's over 37,000 years, and the stats don't end there because of number nine. Among Us is one of the fastest growing games on YouTube itself, and in September alone, it got over 4 billion views. That's pretty much the equivalent to half of everyone on planet Earth watching a video. Hmm, looks like I picked the right job. But let's deep dive and uncover some real secrets at number eight, the bathroom Easter egg. Over in the bathroom on Polis, you know, the place where you always find at least one corpse per game, there's a hidden Easter egg inside one of the cubicles. We showed this off in our Easter eggs video, but unfortunately it was really hard to actually spot it. And since that video went up though, one of the developers who works at Intersloth made a tweet showing the cubicle without the door though. And there you have it, a full look at the peaking crewmate. But speaking of Twitter, have you heard about number seven? All right, this one's a little weird, but Among Us has finally got its own Twitter account, and since it was created, it has exploded in popularity. In fact, the Twitter account has gotten over 700,000 followers in just seven days, which is absolutely insane. I mean, hey, maybe we could get a little of this gas over on our Twitter account, at Top5GamingX, wink wink. But plugging aside, you're gonna love this neat trick in game. Let me show you number six, how to rejoin your lobbies. Let's say you're having fun in a random lobby and really enjoying yourself, but suddenly Among Us has its classic server issue and disconnects you. It could be rage worthy to say the least, especially if you don't actually have the code to the lobby you're in. But that's where this trick comes into play. By pressing the arrow on the menu without putting a code into the box, you should actually go straight back into the previous game. So if you made yourself some friends in a random lobby, that's how you get back to them. But a better solution would be number five, the new friends list. So it turns out Endersloth is finally adding a friends list into the game with an account system. No more having to ask people for their Discord, you can just add them and invite them to your games. According to the developers, the friends list is actually getting added in December. I can't wait. But the new account system brings more than just a friends list. It also gives us number four, the new report system. So it turns out a reporting system will also be arriving the same day as the friends list and account system. It'll finally let us report hackers, cheaters, and those people. You know who I mean though, right? The worst of the worst people who know you're imposter because their friend on Discord told them. They're the worst. But thankfully, we can now report all these guys come December. And now we move on to our top three things. Number three, additional crewmate colors coming soon. Well, it looks like we're getting more crewmate colors in the future. They were originally in the works for Among Us 2 before it got canceled and you can see them over on the wiki page. We could get these exact colors in the future or maybe something like this concept art. We'll only know when it comes to the game. And for those who love testing new features like this, you'll wanna hear about number two, the Among Us beta. There's a secret beta version of Among Us on PC that actually lets you test new features before they even come to the game. Over on Steam, if you go into your game settings, there's a beta option. It's pretty fun to show off new features to your friends that don't have them. But let's finish off with our number one spot. It turns out Among Us isn't actually as new as you might think it is. Did you know the game has been out for over two years and released back in 2018? It's quite an old game, which makes you think, if you're only making $35 right now, whoever you are watching, you can still have a bright future ahead of you. But click on screen right now to check out this video. This has been Tommy, and you're watching T5G.